Meet the Bible, live, Monday night, 8 p.m. East Coast time, 25 March, 2019. Let's talk about abortion. Uh, it's just really hard for me to even ask you this question because I'm, I'm almost in disbelief. If a baby is born on a table as a result of a bot botched abortion, what would what would Planned Parenthood want to have happen to that child that's struggling for life? You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, you know, we, we believe we believe that you know any decision that's made should be left up to the fam to the woman, her family, and the physician. What happens in a situation where a baby is alive, breathing on a table, mm -hmm. moving? Um, what do your physicians do at that point? You're recognized. Um, I do not have that information. Um, I am not a physician. I'm not an abortion provider, um, so I, I do not have that, that information. I am the doctor you're meeting with today. So oh, okay. I did all of it. Okay. So I do this state mandated stuff, which is kind of this part. Okay. But I'm going to go through everything in terms of the procedure, how it works, what we're going to be doing, okay. all of that stuff too. If you feel like you're having contractions and enough discomfort that you think it might be labor, call us. Even if it is 1 o'clock in the morning, we want to know and we can meet you here in the office to take care of you. What do, would it ever like come out? Like, I mean, would I give birth? like? while I'm like calling you and on the way to, um, like what would I do if that happened? If that happens, just keep calling us, keep heading in this direction. Okay. And then we can help. If it's like, like, I mean. Well, and that's the. I mean, not to get graphic, but if it's like moving no, and stuff, like questions. I still come to you. Still come here. Okay. Absolutely. Step two is that we do the uh, injection, which is a quick poke through your belly um, and, and that, stops the fetal heart so that makes it so if you were to deliver there shouldn't be movement there shouldn't be any of those things okay so it's almost so like we're guaranteed it's like we're okay it's a, yeah okay. we we induce a demise an intrauterine demise what does demise mean um death does it come out in like pieces or does it come out whole um it it depends. Every case is a little bit different because the medicines we give you will help us do different things. Um, but it's more common that it comes out in pieces. And then, what do you what do you do with the baby after, or like the, the pieces and stuff? So the fetus and everything that goes along with it, the placenta, all of that, is sent to a crema what are they called? Like a funeral home, mm -hmm. and they're cremated, and then the ashes we spread out in the desert. Of, you know foothills or Boston, like one of the hills they take them to and spread the ashes into nature. We use a combination of suction and then real instruments to literally go in and grab and pull pieces out. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's, usually, that's a little more graphic than I usually describe it. When you come in tomorrow, you'll be 23, day, or 23 weeks and two days when the state of Arizona requires me to tell you that at that gestational age, uh, the fetus is about eight inches from the top of its head to its buttocks. It has a beating heart, fingers, toes, and it can make spontaneous movements. At this point, does it have like all of its organs and all of that stuff? Like, um, is it already fully? It's not developed? fully developed. Um, okay. It doesn't even look like it doesn't even look like a baby yet. It doesn't. Technically, it has its organs. It has parts like. We all have parts, but it's not done. So, like, does it have a face or, um, like, all of that stuff? Or? Yeah, kind of, okay. yeah. I mean, it has what it's developing into. Right, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to torture yourself. Well, did you understand exactly what the digestion does? That's the injection that they give you. That's one of your forms that you filled out. And, like goes into my stomach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That stops the heartbeat. 
of the baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you're okay with that? I don't really have another choice, do no, I? Well, you don't, but you could probably do it without the digoxid if you wanted to. How? Well, it just takes longer to How do they do it then. Huh? How do they do it if they don't use well, that? Well, they don't do the digoxin. They'll just uh, suction the baby, and it's possible that there may be movement as they're taking out the fetus. Like movement after? Mm hmm And then what happens? Well, then usually it stops on its own. Okay. So if they, if they use the... The um, digoxin? No, the... What did you say? Suction? Uh-huh. So if they use the suction, then it, there's possible movement when it comes out. Yeah, and sometimes after... Is it alive or...? Sometimes they are, yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will come out whole, because they use suction, plus they use instruments, and sometimes the fetuses don't come out, you know, that's not complete. Okay. So... But if, if it, it does come out whole, mm -hmm. I mean, are, will they resuscitate it? Like, will I have to take care of it? Mm -mm. Okay. No, but the digoxin is probably the best thing for it. That okay. way there's no suffering. Okay? Okay. I need your signature and date on that line, and that will get you going. If that does happen, like if they do it, if I were to choose to do it that way, like, you would just let it go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you would just let it die on its own mm -hmm. if it was whole mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. breathing. Yes. They okay. do not resuscitate. Okay. Yeah. Just let it die on its own and... Mm -hmm. Okay. And the chances of it coming out with a heartbeat are kind of slim because, like I said, it's a procedure where they use instruments and suction and it's... Most of the time, they don't come out whole. Okay. You know. But if it does, so then I don't have to worry about mm -mm. getting in trouble or no. <laughs> taking a baby home. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I understand that you're not a physician, but you do represent yes. um, physicians who do perform this activity. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're te can you tell me what happens when a baby is alive on the table at that point? What do they do with the baby that is struggling to live? You're recognized. I don't know. And as, as it's been referenced earlier, you know, we don't know even how prevalent this situation is. Thank you.